Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm live. La la la. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're all here in the dogs flying away. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just got a notification that I'm live. How nice. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. La la la. Mm -hmm. If you're here, say hi. I seem to have a couple of people here. I did not originally plan to do this tonight because I'm doing a live tomorrow. Oh no, hold on. I have to close my door. Okay. Husband just came upstairs, doesn't know I'm live streaming, so, you know, closing the door. Uh, my beverage tonight is, in fact, not from McDonald's. Oh, hi. Saying hi to you guys live here. Uh, so what's everybody doing tonight? It's a boring holiday weekend. I don't know. So I just found out, my husband told me that we hit a new low temperature. Um, our new low right now is, oh, hold on a second. I need to, let's see, there we go. So my new low temperature here tonight is like 41. And apparently we are, we broke the record for like the lowest temp or something like that. And it hasn't been this cold since 1917. So that's interesting. So there's that. <laughs> and welcome to Memorial Day in the Poconos. Mm. I kind of feel bad for the businesses here because, you know, last year there was literally like no Memorial Day. Everything was shut down so nobody could do anything. And I do live in a tourist town and tourist area. And the businesses here thrive on holidays. Uh, they thrive on Memorial Day, Labor Day, and Fourth of July. And, uh, oh, hey, my mic's in the way. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, I got it. Dropped my eye primer. This mic is not conducive to being around all my makeup, let me tell you. It's really scary. Anyway, there was supposed to be a big pool opening at Rainbow Mountain. I was going to go to that. I was thinking about actually filming there and talking to them about me doing some interviews and some different things about Rainbow Mountain because it's such a cool place. It's so awesome. They have new owners. I think it's one of my favorite places to hang out here. So it's, it's just a resort, but they have those, those glamping tents where you can stay in the really cool glamping tents. They're so awesome. So, I, should, I mean, I live seven minutes away, and I want to go stay in one of the glamping tents. Hi, Monica. So, their weekend is ruined. They just put all this stuff on Facebook, like the pool's open, come on out. And now it's like 41 degrees outside tonight. It's terrible. I feel so bad. And the drop zone, we live, we also live right near the drop zone where my husband likes to go skydiving. And they probably... Man, why is my throat so dry? Allergies. <clears throat> it's one of the dangers of going live. Sniffly nose, allergies, you know. So the drop zone, I'm sure, was booked with skydives this weekend. They probably had all the tandem skydives, you know, where you get strapped to somebody and you go skydiving. All these tourists come out from New York and Connecticut and Delaware and Maryland and Massachusetts we have license plates from all over the place. Well, I also live right by a campground. RVs go up the road and down the road all day. It is so quiet out here. And my husband went into town today and I said, how bad was the traffic? And he's like, nobody, nobody there. I had him stop at McDonald's and pick me up fries and a big Coke earlier. And he said there was nobody in line. Hello, I'm good. Um, hey, you're a new subscriber. Everybody say hi to Ariel. Hello. Um, so yeah, it sucks because our weather is so messed up, you know, 
And the thing that bums me out the most is the hummingbirds are here. And oh my God, the babies, you know, they're probably sitting on eggs in the nests. And the hummingbirds have to deal with like two, three days of 40 degree temperatures. It really sucks. Anyway, um, I'm bored. And oh, I, in case you wonder what I'm drinking, obviously this doesn't look like anything from McDonald's. I just reused the cup because I wanted to see what color this would turn out. This is my Dragon Fruit Summer Edition Red Bull. And I tried to copycat the Wawa drink that I like. So I mixed... Um, 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 mango juice in with it. So it's dragon fruit Red Bull and mango juice. And I have that slushy dragon fruit stuff you can put from smoothies in it. And I didn't try that because I still want to go to it's as it is, I'm going to be up drinking this all night. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be live again at two o'clock. So I am once again playing new makeup nonsense bingo. So make sure you don't miss it because oh, hi, Monica. I, I'm so glad you like it. I'm my mother-in-law said, oh, you're so great on there. And she said something about me acting. And I was like, you know me, I'm not acting. This is like who I am. And somebody, a couple of my YouTube friends, we did collabs and they all say, oh my God, embolism is so cool. I aspire to be as cool as she is. And I just laughed. I said, if they only knew, I am like the dorkiest, nerdiest person in the world. I'm a total nerd. And I've always been a nerd. I was a nerd in school. I got bullied a lot because I was a nerd. And, um, you know, it's and I was always like uh, the black sheep and the weird one in the family and all that. And you know, I I've never considered myself to be cool. I just noticed today when see, I'm really, you know, when you hear yourself, I, you never listen to yourself. And it's hard when you go on YouTube because then you're forced to listen to your own voice my whole life I've hated my voice and I don't know why I just I was always like God, why can't I have a cooler voice my voice is so stupid but I don't know everybody feels like that right you hear your own voice and you're like I sound like an idiot like is this what I sound like to other people and it makes me wonder like I I watch my videos when I'm editing and I feel like I sound so weird <laughs> and I don't know I mean I do when I was teaching yoga classes and when I was, well, and I will be teaching Master Gardener things again this fall. I'm teaching the new students in November about plant propagation because I'm a Master Gardener, so I do that. So I do stand up in front of classrooms and teach, but I've always been a little weird about my own voice. I'm like, what up with this voice? And I noticed when I recorded my short today about my live that I'm doing tomorrow, I'm like, when did I get a lisp? Like, I have a lisp now. A lisp. I can't. I'm like Cindy Brady. <laughs> Remember the, the Brady Bunch when Cindy had the lisp and everybody made fun of her because of the lisp? I feel like I've developed a lisp over the years and it's... See, I have like weird S's. I swear, I never noticed it until like this morning. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if I ever noticed that I had a lisp before. I don't even know. Oh, what you couldn't do. I have a lot of friends on YouTube who don't do lives and they're like, I'm terrified. I don't know how you could do your makeup live. The first time I did it, I admit I was like terrified. I'm like, what am I even doing? What if I totally mess this up? And the thing is my channel, I want it to be about what if you mess it up? What if it goes terrible? I, what if it goes terribly wrong? And it's, I make a joke of it. I'm like, it's a dumpster fire and you should be here for it. I'm so sick of all these you know, it's okay. Let's talk because we need to talk. Um, I'm so sick of these, like all the problematic influencers and YouTubers who act so perfect, like they're, you know what, don't stink. And they're like, oh, I'm so perfect. I have no flaws. I just, Nikita Dragon comes to mind, although she's like full of flaws and problematic. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> but. I mean, they, all these people, like, they want to, like, present this perfect image. Like, that's all you see of them. And I think people are just getting so sick of that. And then, you know, a lot of people don't like the word relatable or whatever. I don't think relatable is a bad word. I think most people would rather see somebody that 
they could watch and say, hey, that person could be me, or they would get me, or we think alike, or whatever. I don't want to be, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. The I can't imagine the pressure and the stress you would put yourself under just to sit there and try to be perfect every time you're on a camera, every time somebody sees you, every time you walk out your door, every time you're on a live, every time you film something like you're trying to be perfect. It's like, screw that. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. And for what? I mean, you know, nobody is always going to be perfect for their whole life. And people are going to screw up. And you know what? I would rather screw up like publicly live on camera going, yeah, I mess up. Sometimes I do makeup and it looks like crap or whatever. And if you watched my Hello Kitty review outside, the eyeliner was so painfully bad. I mean, it was terrible. And then I showed the close up where I did. There's a <laughs> what happened was a piece of my hair went in the eyeliner, right? So this whole piece of my hair was like black and then it, the wind blew it and it went on my cheek and it went like this, and I had this big black eyeliner line across my cheek, and I left it in. I, In fact, I zoomed in on it. I'm like, what? Because that's what happens, and you mess up. But I don't know. I just feel like everybody takes makeup so seriously, and it, it's not rocket science, and it's not, I mean, if it's, if anything, it should just be fun, and you know. I don't know if it's not fun. I always say this about everything. If it's not fun, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I try to make things fun. If there are things I don't want to do, I try to make them fun. And I have a saying, it's kind of a mantra. And I always say, I only have to do this once. And if you approach everything that you have to do, like day to day, um, I don't know, I'm trying, like I have to clean my garage and I don't want to, and it's going to suck. But I just look at it like, I just have to clean the garage this one time. If I just do it and I keep it neat, I don't ever have to do it again for the rest of my life. It's the same thing like when I'm doing something on my channel. I'm like, I'm going to review this and I'm just going to do it. I'm doing it. And then it's behind me and on to the next thing. Everybody makes like this huge project or you build up to like something that you have to do. And then it gets to a point where you're like so worked up about it that I don't know. It's like, I just fly by the seat of my pants most of the time. And if that's cool to people, cool. But I'm I'm not cool. I just, you know what? I should just have a new catchphrase. I'm not cool. I'm just, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I think there is a cool factor to just getting to a point in your life where you just don't care. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. I mean, I it, a lot of people can say, oh, I don't care. But like the, the people who are... Um, the extremely not bothered, bothered people. They're like, I'm so unbothered, but I really am unbothered. I really don't care what people think about me. I don't care. I mean, I'm doing this for me, for my mental health and to share and to put something out into the world that I think is good because most of my depression and stuff I fought has come from being so sad at how terrible the world is and how much people struggle and how much suffering there is. And people say, well, what can I do? You know, I'm just like one person, like, what can I do to change that? And I'm like, well, I guess for me, the best thing, you know, you have to figure out like what, what's something you can do for the world. And I don't know, I mean, me doing a YouTube channel and having a couple hundred people watch me or something, you know, it's not like, I'm curing cancer, but if I make somebody's day and make somebody happier, or, I mean, that's why I want to do like giveaways every time I, my subs go up. I have a whole shelf. I've been, every time I buy things, if I see something really cool, I buy two of them and I have a whole like goodie shelf put aside. I think there's two, three, four, five, six. There's, I see like five lip glosses. Oh, six, a liquid lip five glosses and there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes over there. Not to mention all the skincare stuff and all the other things and the candles I have to send to people. And, you know, I like, I don't need to, I don't, I'm not saying this to be like snide, but I'm not doing YouTube, like going, I want to be rich and famous. You know, I mostly, I like to be left alone. I like to be I'm very introverted. I'm weird. I'm an introverted extrovert. I'm an introvert that could talk on YouTube all day long and talk to you about anything you want to talk about and listen to whatever you want to talk about. 
but I don't want to leave my house and be around people. <laughs> I want to be around the YouTube people. I want to be around the people with the screens. I don't really want to, um, I mean, I, you know, I'm kind of, I probably could go out and start teaching yoga again. I'm vaccinated and all that. And I'm like, you know, why do I want to do that when I have my YouTube channel? <laughs> no, this is, this is kind of too much fun. I want to keep doing this. So, um, I'm going to pull a smoky glow right now and just show you my uh, candle of the day. I've been burning this one. It's it's burnt down to here already. This is, of course, one of my Goose Creek candles. It's Unicorn Milkshake Easter Collector's Edition 2021. And, oh my God, it smells so good. This is the one that when I unboxed it, I said I thought it smelled like coconut. But it really, I guess it doesn't so much now. It has a cake smell, definitely. It's weird because it's called Unicorn Milkshake, but it's a little more cakey. I'm wondering if I should open my doors and see if any of the dogs want to come in. Oh, uh, Luna's back there, but my mic's in the way. Hold on. Let me move it down. I don't know if you can see her. She's she's back there hugging a pillow. Hold on. I'm going to move my mic for a second. And I'm in the way. There she is. So there's a Luna back there sleeping. One of the benefits of doing a live late at night as my dogs are all sleeping <laughs> although a couple of times they ran by my door over here so let's see I got a new palette and I want to play with it in the middle of the night on a Saturday I don't care I don't care if we're on here for like two hours whatever so I this is really funny because my friend Raven um beauty rave here on youtube she said she we were talking about this palette and she's like oh are you gonna get it and i'm like i looked at it and i'm like meh you know but it's midas cosmetics and the basic b it is the perception palette let me move my mic out of the way a little bit here without hopefully i'm not gonna knock all my makeup over there we go let's go over here all right uh so this is the basic b perception eyeshadow palette and by MidasCosmetics.com. It is cruelty-free, good for 24 months. And Midas is a good little indie... Br oh, I did the... I reviewed the Outdoor Life, the Midas Flower Bomb Palette. That was that one that I had problem with the pressed glitters. But this one is not like that. This one is much different. This is a collab with the Basic B. And where... Oh, there it is. I have the little card that came with it. So I can read you the little card. Ooh. So... Oops, wait, it goes this way. So it says, perception, noun, the tool we use to interpret and understand a sensory experience of the external world. Message from at the basic B. So if you look up on Instagram and on YouTube, Instagram, it's just the basic B. And YouTube is real the basic B. And Midas Cosmetics on Instagram. So there's this. Um... Yeah, people that could. Um, I, I like spend way too much money on makeup. I'm just gonna say that I really do. But I have no kids. I have no. I mean, I have my dogs, but really, it's like a thing. It's like a passion of mine. So I mean, I don't really have any other hobbies other than my pets. So basically, my fun money or whatever I have, you know, what little. I want to blow things on. I spend on makeup. And I also, little known fact, I didn't, I don't always, I forget to tell everybody this. I don't buy anything unless I have a discount code or an affiliate code that I can use from somebody. So I'm always using affiliate codes for all this stuff. So I'm getting like anywhere from five to, you know, sometimes 15, 20, 30% off. Okay, so Basic B says, hey, I'm so happy this baby made it into your hands. Midas and I are giving you a diverse selection of thought-provoking, inspiring mattes and shimmers. 20 shades meant to stimulate and incite your creativity. Applying color to my face is the way I found to relate to the creative world around. Subtle or bold color is everything to me. Thank you so much for purchasing our creation. I hope you enjoyed this palette as much as I do. So and the palette is really cool. They kind of got me with the packaging because it's space <laughs> and I'm a sucker for all the outer space stuff I mean and there's just it's it's hard to see the lettering but it kind of says perception oh my god it's so warm in my room right now with all the lights on I'm taking my hoodie off okay Whew. man it's warm in here 
so I don't know. I just feel like doing a little, I'm just going to sit here and chat and play with this palette and do some makeup. God, one of the bad things about wearing glasses is like, I have the lines <laughs> under my eyes all the time for my glasses. And yes, I do have creepy contact lenses in tonight because I just felt like it. So I'm going to use my um, Stila One Step Correct Kitten Skin Tone Correct. This is funny. I'm going to do my makeup. I'll be done at like midnight and then I'll be ready to go to bed and I'll wash it all off. But who cares, right? It's, it's Saturday night. It's a holiday weekend and there's nothing going on. And my husband already went to bed. So, you know, whatever. He was up here. I think he was in the kitchen scouting for snacks and we're both trying to lose weight so I'm not keeping a lot of snacks around so it's kind of funny so yeah there's not a lot of snacks in the house it's kind of a bummer and it's hard because you know you get like the munchies or something and you're like I just want something and there's nothing oh my nose is so sniffly I'm so sorry I hate being sniffly on camera it's like uh oh. So this uh, this is the beauty crop stuck on you, and it stuck closed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it open. Oh my god. This is uh, from the beauty crop. It is an eye primer, and it's one of the ones I think I mentioned in another. Oh, it was in one of my. Um, it was my Ipsy Chloe glam bag thing. Um that I said, oh my god, I'm so glad I have this. So this is an eye primer, and it's called Stuck on You by The Beauty Crop. I really like everything I've tried from The Beauty Crop. Uh, I'm j <sighs> Why am I throwing on primer and then eye primer now? Uh, because I don't want to forget my eye primer. <laughs> so I'm just putting it on now. And I kind of want to... I kind of want to use a brush for this. Mm, this one. If I can, let's see, I'm like really smashing this in here. So, yeah, what else is going on? Not a whole lot. Waiting for my, um, oh, my kitchen cabinets are in. So we're waiting for the countertop now. And then we have to order the backsplash. And my husband's going to be doing all the, redoing all the electrical tomorrow. He's replacing all the outlets. We have a couple of outlets that I haven't used in years in my living room because they're kind of scary. One of them, it went bzz, and like, luckily there wasn't a fire or anything, but it was so scary. And the lights that were plugged into it just... <laughs> I had these like lights plugged into it and that was bad. Not studio lights, just regular house lights, but yeah. That was scary. So needless to say, I have never used that outlet again. It's in the dining room, actually. But I haven't used it and I'm kind of looking forward to being able to use that outlet again because there's like two or three outlets that I don't like using because they're just a little scary. So he's going to be rewiring a whole bunch of the electrical and putting in all new switch plates and, you know, everything and the whole, the whole outlet. So that'll be nice. I think um, today I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now this is funny. This is like really light. It might be lighter than what my skin is right now, but I don't care. I want to find out. I want to see how it looks. Oh, I should put this on my, the back of my hand. I keep making that mistake. This on the back of my hand. Look how light that is. Oh, don't care. Don't care. I'm, I'm just going for something kind of like really dramatic tonight. So look at this. I'm doing mime makeup. That's what we're doing. I'm going to be a mime. Oh my god, look at how white this is. Oh, this is so crazy. And this is a pretty full coverage too, so... It's a Saturday. I feel like doing something theatrical. I used to um, be very involved with school theater back in the day. 
actually really I was more into writing but I also did set design so I did um, I did set design in school I used to help paint the sets because I was an artist and very involved in the art department in my junior high and high school and elementary and all that so and I used to do some stage makeup too so that was kind of cool but I was just telling one of my friends on Facebook that she's a um, well she was doing hair hairstylist and now she's doing nails she's focusing on nails as I'm doing hair now but she was it was interesting when we met because we were both like hairstylists in Michigan and both into Italian Greyhound. She actually adopted a foster Italian Greyhound for me a zillion years ago. And we were friend we became friends ever since, which is cool. But I feel like I'm doing a full on Nikki tutorials right now. Like this is what she looks like when she puts like a mask on her face. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god. Seriously, let's bring this down onto my neck because I'm looking scary. I like doing um, this really light foundation though when I'm doing a crazy eye look or doing something really colorful, so I don't care. I should have done that primer on my nose thing again to try and have it not look weird. Okay. Where is that? I got this new Kimchi Multitask Superstar Concealer that I kind of want to try out. It's got its own little brush here. And it's peach. And I don't know if this is going to work on me or not, but I'm curious. I just wanted to try it. Because it's interesting. I said in another video before that I don't really do, um, I'm not really down with using concealers that, oh, there we go. Now she's coming out. Oh, okay. You guys never see me do like crazy, crazy makeup like this. So whoever's watching this, you're in for a treat. I've been, I don't know. I think starting out on my channel, I've been playing it like really safe and you've probably noticed that my makeup's getting a little crazier and crazier lately and I'm just kind of going all out and throwing makeup all over around my eyes and everything and so yeah, I just, I'm like, screw it. Like I said, I'm, who am I, why am I trying to play it safe and be careful? Like, boring, boring. Nobody wants to do that. I mean, I want it to be fun, like I said. And to me, like, everyday boring makeup is not fun. I mean, makeup, you know, it can be it can be mellow and chilled out and still be, like, kind of cool. But for me, I like really crazy stuff like this. This is more like what I want to do. I need a powder. Let's try a powder I haven't tried yet, too. Um, I have so many powders. I've never been a big, like, I've, I've been a powder person as far as, um, oh, I want to try this Give Me Glow Baking and Loose Setting Powder. I also never bake. I never do, like, the whole baking thing because I think, oh, goodness, it's a good thing I just looked at that. It's going everywhere. The baking thing, I feel like it just ten tends to really age me and that's like the last thing I need holy smokes okay okay this this powder I think it's uh oh by the way this is uh give me glow sugar cookie is the powder that I'm trying here I never do this I'm gonna do it I'm doing a full-on, like, Huda Beauty, Nikki Tutorials, crazy contour realness face tonight. You never see me do this shit. <laughs> doing a cut cheek and everything and baking under my eyes. I never do this. But guess what? I am today. 
kind of really liking this powder though. It's going to really be a shame that after this live I'm just going to go to bed and wash all this off, but there's a, a certain like zen to that, you know? It's if anybody's familiar with the um, the sand mandalas that monks do, they spend weeks and weeks at sometimes doing these sand mandalas. And they're really, really, really beautiful. And they're these intricate designs. And they spend all this time doing these beautiful mandalas. Google sand mandalas and you'll see what I'm talking about. But they spend all this time creating these things. And they're absolutely like amazingly gorgeous right and then they just go and they blow them they whisk them all away and they're gone forever and people are like oh my god i can't believe they just did that but it's supposed to be a lesson in impermanence and how nothing is forever and everything is like that that old uh, rock song i forgot who did it it's called dust in the wind who did that song dust in the wind all we are is dust in the wind um I don't know, my brothers would know. That's like their era. <laughs> I'm not that old. Oh, I am that old. But that's more my brother's era. So I am doing the baking thing on this line on my cheek here and here and under my eyes. And now I'm about to play with this. And I think I'm going full on crazy um, cut crease the whole works tonight. Let's pull out my... Oh, you know what I want to try? I'm going to do all the stuff that I'm always too, I don't want to say too afraid to do on my channel. Uh-oh, I moved it. Wait, i got to grab something. Oh, it's over here. Uh, not the stuff I'm afraid to do, but the stuff that I just usually don't do. I have this whole box of stuff here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, found it. There's some things I've been wanting to try, and tonight we're going to do it. This is a black eye base. So, the black eye base, basically, um, Butte Bean does this all the time. Like, your, your shadow is going to look a certain way because the color of your face, your eyes. And it's like if you take, like, something, it's almost like doing color over a black velvet painting or something like that. You have a black base on your eye instead of a white, and the bright colors like pop totally differently. So I want to try that tonight. In fact, what if I do a black base on one eye and a white base on the other eye? Oh, I also have this red base. I'm kind of feeling a red lip tonight, too. Th this is weird. It's like, I don't know, the moon is in a weird phase or something. Because <laughs> I'm just up for doing all this crazy stuff I never do. Okay, I thought I had a white base here. <laughs> oh, I do somewhere. Where is it? Lodi, there it is. Fluid eye paint. I may use this. I'm not sure. I definitely am using the black, though. So, so you take, um, let me show you this palette. So this is the Midas X, the Basic B Perception palette. And it is loverly. Here it is going to hold it up for a second and let you look at it. I'll get it like really close. There we go. Get my ring light out of the <laughs> out of the shot. So there it is. It's a it's a pretty cool color story. Do 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 trying to get all the colors in there. Okay, so anyway, the color names are pretty cool. It's like Quasar, Evolve, Motive Reality, Implode. I'm already liking this color psyche. Oh yeah, this over black. That okay, that's going to be that's going to be a whole journey. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. This is going to be like let's just play with this palette and see what happens. All right. So, um I have my I am going to definitely need a I think this one or perhaps This is something I think a lot of people would be afraid to do what I'm going to do with this this black but I've watched Butte Bean do it a bunch of times. And also, like, don't be scared. Like, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, this might end up looking totally crazy and wacko. Like, do I care? No. So I'm putting this on my hand. And it is Jet Black. Jet, Jet, Jet Black Cosmetic Base. This is P. Louise. I like to say the P stands for problematic. Wah, wah. 
um, if somebody can tell me another black base that is like P. Louise, I'm willing to try it. I don't have a pro I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. I'm trying to get up in the camera here so you can see. I'm going to start, I'm going to do a butte bean eye tonight. So she usually starts with a wing. So here go the wing in the black. Do a little bit under my eye too. So there's the first line. The second line, I'm going to go just above my crease and I'm just starting to like get the line roughly drawn in and I'm going to kind of go in like this. Am I being mega dramatic? Yes, I am. And then Smoke it out a little bit at the top. Okay, and then we just start. I know it looks crazy, doesn't it? Start doing the whole lid and fill it in. I got a little bit under the side, but I'm not too worried about it. It'll get covered up with eyeshadow. Okay, so there is my black swan eye. What if I do this on this eye and not on this eye? No, I, I want to do both. I like this too much. I've been wanting to do this for so long. This is going to be one of those good Instagram looks too. Now here's the trick. Can I match this eye and get the same line? My mom used to watch me do winged eyeliner when I was in my teens. She would always say, how do you do that? I'm like, lots of practice, artistic eye for where a line goes. <laughs> this one I'm just kind of filling in more. So we have to go here. Also, I'm kind of going with kind of a light hand. Bring this down a little bit more. A little bit more black on there. Oh, I just bumped my mic. Sorry if that was a bonk. Bonk. I have really been wanting to try this. Here's the thing, too. If they don't match up, you just keep changing them until they do. Ha, ha, ha. That's how you end up with a ginormous wing on one side. Uh oh Got some on my cheek. Okay, I'm going to go with a smaller brush and clean it up. And I need some more of the black. But it's getting there. I know it looks crazy, but when you see what happens when I put color over this, it's you're not going to even, hopefully, you will not even see this black. So, for the couple people hanging in and watching, Thank you for hanging in and watching. Uh, you might not see my face for one second. I gotta hold this mirror in front of my face and fix this eye a little. Once I clean it up, I will move the mirror. Why does a dog have to always be moving behind me right when I'm trying to do something like this? Got more of a point on the other side this time. A 
coming out pretty well, actually. I'm thrilled. The funny thing is, in the past, when I was like total goth girl, this would have basically been my makeup. I would have done this, put some gray in the hollows of my cheeks, and walked out the door. Been like, my makeup's done. Oh, and some black eyeliner on my lips. That's like, that probably is what I would have done back in the day. Okay, so did I say we we're going super mega dramatic? We're going super mega dramatic. I feel sorry for all the people missing this live, man. Seeing me doing stuff I never do. It's pretty awesome. My eyes do look pretty cool like this, I think. I mean, you know. Uh, I better grab. I have my little wipes down here. Because I don't want to accidentally touch my face with all this black on the back of my hand. That would be really bad. And I'm just going to wipe this brush off a little. Because I don't want to get this all over my table. All right. Alrighty, so that's step one. <laughs> Actually, it gets easier from here. This is like getting this perfect or, you know, pretty close to perfect is step one. So now here's where this will hopefully make a little more sense. Is there a peel? That's weird. I don't think the mirror has one of those peely things. Aw, we're going to miss out on the bzz. Oh, also, how cute is this little mirror? Um... Million Doll Lash Vegas Nights. I got this in a mystery box that the unboxing of that is going up, I think, on next Wednesday. I haven't finished editing it yet. That'll be going up soon, though. Okay, let me find my... Let's go with the Sigma. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm actually... I don't do this a lot. I'm actually going to be wetting this stuff down <laughs> and using some glitter primer. We're going all out. I told you, this is, we're going theatrical tonight because why not? Glitter primer, got all kinds of craziness going on. So this is actually going to be kind of a simple eye look, believe it or not. Um, I'm dabbing some glitter primer over this black just because... I mean, it should grab to this black really well. The P. Louise is supposed to be, you know, very sticky. But I don't know. Okay, so my couple of people watching, is there any particular color you would like to see? I will try to integrate it. Um, I'm definitely feeling like these right here. They're super metallic-y. These two, I'm definitely doing. I don't know. I might do maybe like purple, green, orange, blue. I don't know. I don't want to do too many colors. But, okay. Let's, um, you know what? Let's do greens and oranges. That sounds like fun for tonight. Greens and oranges. So, where do we want to start? Hmm. Let's start with Open Mind, which is this super duper dupe. Wow. Hi, Pigment. Super duper duper bright. I want this to be... Oh, and also the eyeliner. Ha! Huh? I have the OMFG Cake Liner in Key Lime. I was either going to do the Key Lime or I also have the... Very berry. These are cake liners. You get them wet and then you do the lines underneath or, or however you want to do them. Both of these go really well with this palette. So I'm kind of excited. These are almost like made to go together, even though they're two totally different companies, but they play very well together. The OMFG mini cake or the cake liners, the splits, and this palette. Really like. I'm looking forward to doing lots of looks with these together. I think tonight we're going to do the key lime though i've been dying to try this tonight is one of those nights like screw it it's saturday night i'm not doing anything 
I want to try all the things that I've been wanting to try, like this. So yeah, I think my black base is light enough now, or dry enough now to do this. So I'm just doing Open Mind, this lime green is kind of a transitional shade. And it's weird because it's like light for a transitional shade, but keep in mind it's going over like black. So that's how it's looking. I'm probably going to use some of this turquoise perplex next to it also. But right now I just want to start with this and just start getting some color on here. On this black, it's going to be a lot of building up, I think. And deciding what I want to put where. Because I'm starting with the, the green in this kind of in the inner crease here. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to pop a little bit. Okay. Oh, that is, this is such a buildable shadow. I really like this a lot. I already like it. Midas is very good though. Um, I want to use the same brush, so I'm just cleaning it off a little bit. So let's see. Perplex. I'm perplexed, so I'm doing the color perplex. <laughs> oh, I love this turquoise. I'm doing a little bit of this here. I am bringing the drag queen drama tonight. I was saying that I was going to do drag queen makeup, and this is kind of starting to look like it a little bit. I'm getting a little got mick thing going on, which is not the worst thing. Not terrible. Ooh, I kind of got like... I love using the peacock theme for my lives. I don't know why. It just kind of speaks to me. And I kind of have peacock colors going on here, so that's kind of cool. I don't know, I might have to change my plan. Oh, wow. Okay. Loving, loving, loving this. Oh, I feel so bad. I wish more people were here for this live. This is, like, really fun. So, I'm going to take Psyche, which is this crazy, crazy, kind of a multi, I, don't, I think it's a multi-chrome. I am going to use something else, too, that's going to look really cool, but... I just want to see. Okay, so see what happens when I put this over the black. It's just total, like, liquidy metallic, and you can see all the crazy multi-chrome colors. I wonder if this will go on with a brush. I want to try it with a brush, because I think this will work better. Like this one. And I don't know. I'm going to give it a little mist, just for the heck of it. Uh, oops. Woo, I really gouged that one. I'm putting some of Quantum and some of Psyche, but really Psyche is the one I want. It's got this green shift to it, it looks like. And we are going to pack this on. Oh yeah, that's doing what I wanted it to do. So the thing is when, if I just put this color, I'll swatch it on my hand. See, it's it's right there. And it's like, where is it? Um, it's right there. I should have left some of the black on my hand. And then you do it over black and you can see all the little multi-chrome shades or the duochrome shades that are in it. Because you're putting it on a completely different base. So... Butte Bean does that a lot, and I first saw her do it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to start doing that. That's so cool. So that's what we're doing. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't know how it looks on camera, but it's looking pretty cool to me. Look at this eye. You get this like super duper metallic when you do it over the black like this, but in addition to this, there's something I'm really excited to try from uh, Lethal Cosmetics that I want to use with this as well. So that's going to be pretty fun. I got a whole bunch of new Lethal Cosmetics stuff. I love that brand so, so much. Oh. Okay, so there we go. We're starting to... This is going to be a lot of blending here, but bear with me. It's a journey. It's a perception journey through time and space with the perception palette. I actually want to... There we go. So basically what I've done is in doing all this, I've covered up the black. So that's what I have going on here. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, there's all this black, but then you basically do all these multi-chromes and things to cover it up. Uh, so now we need to start lightening up a little bit here. Let's see. Entity. I want to see what... Entity looks pretty nice. I wasn't going to do a pink, but I think it needs this kind of pinky shade. Entity. Yeah, that's like right through here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my god, girl. By the way, um... If you're unfamiliar with Beauty Bean, she is actually a working stylist, hairstylist, and um, reminds me so much of me when I was younger. I mean, I swear it's like if I had a kid, she'd be Beauty Bean. <laughs> I prefer to think of her as a niece instead of my kid, though. I don't like to think of me having kids. It just frightens and scares me. So, this color. Oh, wow. This palette... I can't believe I wasn't going to get this. I can't believe it. What was I thinking? Saying I'm not getting that palette. I'm bringing this all the way up into my hairline. Told you. Drama. With the drama. Let's just go crazy. La, 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 la. I almost want to do the no eyebrow thing tonight. So, what are we thinking? Are you surprised I'm doing this? Uh, I want to see if anybody... Let's see. It's so weird. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, anybody who is here, say hi every once in a while. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, let me know if you're like completely shocked of this makeup look I'm doing. Because I am. But that's what this is for. It's to play. We are playing. It's a Saturday night. Nothing's going on. There's like nothing on TV that I haven't already seen, so I really need to do something with this color motive, this light. How light is this, anyway? Let's see. Ooh, okay. We know where that's going. Boom. Right in the inner eye. Um, I'm going to need that, and I want to give this a spritz. We're going... I don't know, Motive might look cool underneath. I don't know. I do want to try that liquid, or that um, cake liner, though. 
Motive's going to go right in this inner corner. Or is that light enough? I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to put some of reality, which is this matte white. Putting a little bit of that just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to put motive on top of it, I think. Although quantum's pretty nice too. Maybe quantum. Yep. Well, I'm mixing in the two of them, so. Hmm. Oh no. Not loving that. That's the thing, you know, it's like I'm gonna just keep trying inner corner colors until I find okay, that's the one I like. I like the pink. Oh man, I put on my glasses and messed up no look, I messed up my foundation, so I put my glasses on. Okay, so the inner corner I ended up doing was this color Entity. It's the same color that's up here. And that looks the best out of all of them, I think. Yeah, definitely. I definitely like that the most for an inner corner. Yeah, that's much better. That's a better inner corner than the... I was trying to do like a green or something, but I really like how this is kind of inner corner, outer, up here. We got some crazy eye look going on tonight. All right, under eye. What to do, what to do. I'm going to... I want to try this. I did bring some water in here. I have a little thing with some water in it. I want to try this cake liner. I'm actually going to put the yellow, I think, under my eye. It's not going to stay that. I'm going to do something over it. But I do just want to try this because I haven't yet. I'm kind of excited to... Oh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Mm. There we go. Nice little small angle Sigma. I'm going to dip it in the water, get this brush really wet, and then with the cake liners, you just kind of swirl them around. And I'm going to mix the... I'm messing it up, look. I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. But I don't care. It can't be perfect forever. You got to use it. Okay, so you get a bunch of it on like this. I love cake liners. I used to exclusively, almost exclusively, use cake liners in the past. So I'm kind of using this cake liner to build a little bit of a base to put... Oh, that is so cool. To put kind of a metallic over it but oh my god I love this color <gasps> oh, I knew I was gonna love it when I saw it online I was like it's like did Nikki make that color just for me and plus I love key lime like key lime pie is like the greatest thing ever so you just want to like keep well the more I mix these the more neon lime green this gets oh my god it's so cool I've made this a little more wet because I really, I'm really liking this. But I'm going to do a metallic over this, so I know it looks a little weird right now. I have a plan. I have a plan. There is a plan. There's a plan in place. It's going to come together. Don't worry. Wow, this is one glowy, glowy neon. I want to, um, there we go. I'm doing this in my waterline. Hopefully that's okay. Doesn't seem to be bothering my eyes at all. Oh, I look like I should be going on a stage or something. I, I seriously, I look like crazy black swan right now. Ooh, okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So I want to take motive. And see if I can do an under eye metallic -y thing. May or may not work. I don't know. 
we're going to see. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I think I want to do Perplex Under Eye. I really like this color Perplex. I think we're going to do that instead. Yeah, I like that better. This will also look a lot better once I have crazy lashes on. Oh, I love this color perplex. It's just like the coolest crazy turquoise. That is looking creepy. It's getting creepy here. It really is. Okay, now... Blending a little bit more. I'm using Open Mind and Perplex and blending them together to kind of bring that color back around. That's what I wanted. Wow. I am, like, really loving this. I am, I am so gouging and digging into these colors. This is... Wow. I may actually end up panning this uh, palette. Seriously, I really like this a lot. I said, I just, I can't believe I wasn't going to buy this. I feel kind of silly now. Oh my God. Seriously, this is like the, I look like a trollop. Oh, shut up. Oh God. My crazy friends have entered the chat. I am a trollop. You know that. She's a hoe. Uh, so, uh... Jamie and Jer are here watching. Mm. Look, I got nothing to do. It's a Saturday night. And I got this pretty palette. So I figured, what else am I going to do but sit here and, you know, play with makeup and talk to myself? I mean, I talk to myself all day at home when I'm the only one here anyway. So I might as well just, like, do it online, right? <sighs> I need some eyebrows. Do I? Should I do the no eyebrow look? Jamie, Jeremy, should I do... Okay, who thinks I should do eyebrows or should I do the no eyebrow thing? I'm kind of enjoying the no eyebrow thing right now. It's kind of like crazy alien looking nonsense. I'm frightened to try this new Tarte Sunbeam. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm just trying a little bit of it. I got this in a in a subscription box, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't know. I like the little... Ooh, I do like it. I like the little um, blender. Let's see if it breaks up my foundation, though. That's the big thing. Is it going to break up the foundation? It's oxidizing a little bit. I don't love that. Okay. Uh, let's do a little brushy brush away the extra powder. I said I never, I never bake, but, uh, you're having a bonfire and eyebrows now. Okay, Jeremy says I have to have eyebrows. If Jeremy says I have to have eyebrows, I have to have eyebrows. I will do my... I'll do my um, pinky purple brows I always do. Drinking tequila and having a bonfire. Well, I could go do something like that, but it would be really sad because it's pouring rain, for one thing. So it's pouring rain here, and I have nobody to sit at a bonfire and drink with. So it would just be kind of sad. It would be me sitting by myself at a bonfire, drinking alone. I will be drinking in uh, live tomorrow at 2 p.m., by the way. 
playing another round of new makeup nonsense bingo. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be drinking. Probably beer. I never drink beer. But I brought all these craft beers back from Michigan. And uh, I haven't even tried most of them. Or any of them. I think I tried like one. I love my creepy eyebrows. Oh my god, I love I love creepy eyebrows. Okay, the creepy eyebrows make me want to do something else with another color in this palette, so oops. Ah, ah, ah. Shit everywhere. God, I have too much crap. Uh mm, yeah, this. Okay. Pick a color, any color. Whoever said no eyebrows was a thing was a maniac. Um, that would be Jeffree Star. That would be um, Voldemort V. Voldemort, Jeffree Star. He's the one who said that, by the way. He was like, oh, look at me. Hey, curious. Now, uh, Quasar. I want to do the color right here. I, you know what? I'm just going to do Entity. I'm going to use more of this because I really like this color. I just want to bring it up under the eyebrow a little bit. Oh my God. Since Jamie's here, I'm going to totally embarrass him and talk about something I did when I was in uh, cosmetology school because that's around the time I met him. And uh, I don't know why, but just yesterday, completely out of the blue... I started thinking about the time that I had to do, I made uh, Jamie let me practice doing makeup on him for my cosmetology, uh, the test, the state board test. <laughs> I practiced on him and put my friend Jamie in drag. It was, it was so funny. Oh my God. Where is that pencil I want? Hold on. Oh, it's here somewhere. I just got this new liner pencil, and I want to try it in the uh, this tint uh, haze smoky eye pencil. Oh, that's awesome! I'm doing it in my waterline. I don't like the green in there. It needs some contrast. Okay, that's better. Do 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 do. I call this look trollop. Whoever said, I love, that's my favorite comment. Whoever said no eyebrows was a thing is a maniac. By the way, my niece has no eyebrows. I think it was like, it wasn't, didn't it start with like David Bowie, the whole no eyebrow gig? And then, um, I don't know what happened from there. Okay, so this is another thing. In, in my evening of doing things I never do, we are doing... Since I did the baking crap, I figure why not go all out and do the whole contouring my face like crazy. Sure, why not? Especially because it's so pale, so I need to do some contour here because it looks cuckoo. <laughs> no comment from the peanut gallery. It looks cuckoo. They're like, no, no, you look good. Okay, let's put this palette away for a second. So, bronzing, bronzing. I got to put a little bit of color into my face. It's looking a little kooky here. I definitely, I love this Kaleidos um, contour thingy. Is my favorite thing in the world now. Hair, hello. Get out the freaking way. I love my, I love me my cheekbones. I think my cheekbones are my favorite feature like of anything on my whole body. I just, if I could just be cheekbones, that'd be good. Cheekbones are awesome. Everything else can go, it's just cheekbones can stay. I love these brushes. Nice. I didn't even think about what blush to use tonight. Uh, uh. Okay, now we gotta do
this crazy nose situation. I'm doing like the most contour on my nose that I ever do. I never do this much. But I just feel like screwing around with it. Okay. Uh, I need lashes and I already have some here. I actually am somewhat prepared tonight. These are uh, 90s Baby Cosmetics insanely crazy long lashes with the little Lisa Frank uh, on the back. These are also in, I didn't put up that video yet, but it's a mystery box thing I got. And I definitely am going to have to trim these. These are going to be way too long. And they are really stuck on here. Wow. Okay, got it. Uh, that guy. Scissors, scissors, scissors. I have little tiny eyes. I always end up having to trim off like the first the first two or three things on the lashes. Once you do this enough, you kind of know exactly like how long they have to be to fit your eyes. And glue. Okay, where did I put that glue? I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh. Oh, wow. That looks like this is uh, the new, this is my Pro Eyelash Glue from Pure. I just wanted to try it. It is crazy looking. And I do still have something else that I'm doing with my eyes that I haven't gotten to yet. Because do I have enough shit going on? No, I do not. I need more shit going on in my eyes. Because I'm bored. Bored. So bored. I'm going to do all this. I'm going to take a few pictures, I'm going to throw them on my Instagram, then I'm going to wash all this off and go to bed. Oh, by the way, Jamie, uh, I got to go see Tiffany. I want to get some new piercings. I'm, I'm bored. I need new piercings. I think I want to go, whoa, I just got glue all over this. I think I want to go for, um, more, uh, like ear piercings. Nothing, nothing crazy, just more ear piercings, I think. I think I'm getting bored of just what I have, so, yeah. Uh, oh, she lost her mascara. Which, there it is. Hey, Rihanna. Rihanna, Fenty Mascara, my fave. By the way, Jamie Jeremy, creepy contacts, love them, don't care what you think, like I ever care what they think. Oh, don't start with me, eyelash. This is brave, doing a live and trying to get an eyelash on. What a nightmare. And I think I have glue on my thumb, so it keeps sticking to my thumb. Okay. She does not want to stick. She does not want to stick, y'all. Seriously? Okay, now it's starting to. But still, I don't think it's... No, it doesn't. It does not want to stick to this metallic stuff on my lids, let me tell you. Okay, I think it's on. Uh, yeah. I may just have an eyelash go flying off my face in a second, though. I will warn you. It may or may not stay. This one feels stickier. The other one, I think I just didn't let it dry enough before I tried to put it on. We'll see if she stays on. This one feels much better. Placement's terrible, though. Yep. 
yeah, this just, it's hard with these metallic shadows and layers and layers. Okay, there we go. I still feel like these are going to go flying off any second. Falling down my face. Oh my god, it'd be so funny if this just fell off and was like stuck to my cheek. That's probably going to happen now. I said it. It's going to happen. Man, I wish I had somebody to... Jamie says, see a barber first. Message retracted. Um... Lower lashes. Oh, I got some mess under that eye, man. Okay. That's some craziness. So I got these new things from Lethal Cosmetics. And they are these cuckoo... Um, 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 what are they called? I forget. They're these like eyeshadow topper things. And they do this crazy glowy thing when you put them on. So I have been wanting to try these too. This is, like I said, this is the night of trying all this crap that I've been wanting to try. So... Well, with everything I have going on, it's not adding that much, but it is adding a little bit more glow to my lid, so that's kind of nice. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, except for I got it on my lash, didn't I? Yes, I did. Ooh, okay, got it. I'm like, ugh, this isn't shiny enough yet. Let me just keep throwing crap on. Okay, so this is one other thing, and I want to do something with my under eye. This is what I'm doing, is this um, really crazy metallic blue. Okay, I'm kind of, I know this is nuts and it's like really dramatic, but I'm kind of living for this thing that's going on under my eyes right now. Oh! Wow. Okay, I love this. So this color is called Deadlock. And I love it. I'm going to bring a little bit out on this corner because I want to just bring it up here. There. And a little bit on this side, and I have to, I'm going to pull a, uh, it's perfect runaway. As soon as I bring this up around this side, if I do any more to my eyes, I'm just going to screw it up. So, yeah. little more there. I want to get that like super duper glow on the inner corner. Oh, it's just, she gets too dark down in there. Okay, so there we go. Mega crazy over dramatic eye look. Oh my god. I'm going to put my glasses on and these lashes are probably going to go flying off because I'm sure they're so long that they're going to brush up against my glasses. I hate when that happens. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, what do you think of the new hair color? I love it. I love it. And I don't care what you think, because I love it. Yes, I do. So this eye look, I guess, is kind of inspired by my live um, 
thing that I always do with the peacock. Um, oh my God, I love this. I love it. I call this look peacock trollop. So that was the uh, perception eyeshadow palette that I really made a mess out of. And I love this. I made a good old mess out of this. Awesome. Okay, so cheek and lips and uh, we'll call it a night and I can do some photos and then I can go to sleep. <sighs> oh, by the way, these do, these lethals do come in other colors. There's the pink. I'm going to play with all of these. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be using these every time I do my makeup from now on. I'm definitely doing another look with this palette. Might do it tomorrow. I want to do something with um, the pinks, the hot pink and like these kind of pink, yellow, red, blue, primary colors. And I really want to use this color Quasar, this super bright orange. So I'm going to come back to this for, sh for show. So we need some blush. We need some highlighter. We need some lips. Uh, should I do green lips, guys? Or would that be too... <laughs> is that too... No, I think hot pink lips. What color lips should I do? Peanut Gallery. Give me a lipstick color. What goes with this? You know, see this? Look, my eyes are kind of like this kind of color, so I'm almost thinking like some crazy pink might look good. I don't know. Uh, well, let's do blush and highlighter first. What do I have that's new? What do I have that's new? Let's see. I'm trying to see what... Oh, you know what I want to try? This is the... Um, this is the Kimchi and uh, Naomi Smalls collab palette that it's uh, two queens in one desert. Um, you can't spell legendary without leg. I'm not going to be ashamed of being hungry. I am hungry. So I'm going to use probably this one, this blush right here from my Kimchi Naomi Smalls palette. Kind of liking that. And then they also have highlighters in here too. So why not? I'll try those. So yeah, we'll do that. I know this is going to be mega pigmented, so I'm going, I'm going a little light with it. Noise. So this is the color Sun Kissed that I'm using. Uh oh. I have an eyelash in my eye. I'm not even kidding. Hold on. There's actually an eyelash in my eye, you guys. This is like horrible. I think I can get it out though. Hold on. We're having a 911 eyelash emergency in my eyeball right now. Oh my God, I actually got it out. Holy crap. There it is, it's on my pinky. I saw it like right on my eye. I'm like, something feels really wrong. Yeah, there's a giant eyelash right on my eyeball. Okay, crisis averted, I'm all right. Don't try this at home, I'm a professional. Professional what? Cheeky monkey. Uh, okay, let's see. Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. Uh, I'm going to go with highest point. I don't know if this is going to do what I want, but we'll try it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's, that's crazy. That's glowy. I, I wasn't going to use this because I'm like, oh, that might be a little too subtle. Ah! I should know. It's a palette made by two drag queens. There's nothing subtle about it. Okay. 
Right. You spilled rebel yell on your phone. Oh, um, did you say do it as in like do it like the green lipstick or do it as in something else? Because I don't know what lip color to do. I mean, I'm like really liking this whole thing I have going on, but I'm trying to think of what lip color to do. So I don't know. I could do a crazy lip color that matches my hair. I'm certainly loving the eye makeup and everything going on. So, um, hmm. Hmm. I don't want to do red because it'll look like Christmas on my lips. It'll look like ridiculous if I do red. <sighs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do I have in the... Oh, that's eyeliner. I'm looking in the, the little tray here, seeing if there's anything I've been wanting to try. I had this... I don't know where that went. I had this MAC that I was going to try that came in one of my... Whatchamacallit? Uh, um, boxy charms or something. It came in one of those, and I was going to use that. But I don't see it now. I don't... I have, oh, I'm getting hiccupy. I have no idea where I put that stupid thing. So, there's my mascara. That's not it. Uh, I don't know where I put that MAC lipstick. It seems to have disappeared. Um, all right, hold on. Let me see what I got. Uh, I have. Whoops, because I dropped a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I have an idea of what I can do for a lip that might be kind of fun, but I don't know. You tell me. I've done this color already. Hook, line, and sinker. I could do blue. I could do blue with a metallic green lip gloss over it, which might be kind of cool. Blue lipstick, yes or no? Blue lip or green lip? Or hot pink. I don't know. Here, I'll let you look at the eye look again so you can see. Should I go really crazy and do blue or should I do a green? Okay, come on, peanut gallery. Oh, oh, thanks for the glasses. Yeah, my, these are actually my glasses. Like, I'm blind without these. I cannot see a thing without them. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, this blue is actually really cool and I'm thinking this blue with a green, uh, a green kind of lip gloss over it to kind of match. But I don't know if I want to go that matchy-matchy. I almost hate with how dramatic I did this eye look. I almost hate to go and do, like, something boring. Green? Okay, hold on. Let me get a green. Oh, green. Green, 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 green. You know what really sucks about green? Where's my green? Hold on, now I gotta find my green. I know what I'm gonna do. Um. Oh, where did I put that bastard? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, you're going to laugh, but the only green I have is freaking Jeffree Star. And I have this crazy lime green and this green gloss that can go over it. I'm thinking, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's try it, huh? I wonder if I have... Oh, uh, no. I'm going to just do this green. This is the green that I made fun of last week. It's called Venus Flytrap. I actually made fun of this green, and I used it for my new makeup bingo to mark my bingo card. And I might as well use it up. It's kind of getting a little old at this point. Oscar the Grouch green. I don't... I have a dark green, but I don't know where it is. Oh, crap. I don't want to keep going off camera to try to find it either. I mean, I 
I hate to say this, but you know, when I went through my, um, I'm done with Jeffree Star thing, I put all my palettes of his away and I'm not quite sure. I think I put them up on one of my shelves up there and I just don't want to like, are they over here? Hold on. No, they're not over there. Um, I just don't want to go digging through all my shelves, which sucks because I think I have the perfect green, but, uh, it's hidden somewhere. I'm not going to go take that whole shelf apart to find freaking Jeffree Star that I put all the way in the back of my closet. No. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Actually, I think this is going to work really well. Especially, it's not just going to be this. I'm going to do something over it, so. Don't all, like, unsub for me because I'm using Jeffree Star either. You can, like, well... Yeah, don't call me a hypocrite because I don't believe in, like, throwing stuff away that, you know, yeah, he's an idiot and whatever and frustrates me, but I'm not going to throw stuff away. I, I just hate waste. She did not come to play tonight. Uh, it occurs to me that I have no idea if this is lip safe, but who cares? I mean, if you're doing this color, this kind of crap on your eye, are you really going to worry if it's lip safe? <laughs> I mean, come on. Seriously. Dude, I just kind of want to keep putting this everywhere. I'm in love with this blue stuff. This, uh, I was so excited for this color. Okay. God, my cheeks actually almost look a little boring now. Okay, this lip color is cuckoo. Wow. Not quite sure how to feel about this. I feel like I ate something green and it's all over my lips. It's really weird. <sighs> hmm. Oh, that didn't help at all. This is the weirdest green ever. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. I think I should have gone for blue lip. I think I should have gone for blue lips. I think it's like actually taking away from the eye look. I don't know. What do you think? If I had one of my crazy green wigs on, this would probably look pretty freaking cool, actually. 
I almost feel like I should have done this menagerie blue, but I don't know. Watch this. It's a little wild that uh, <coughs> I never show off my skills like this on my channel. Now that's a lip. <coughs> Except for I need um, a little bit of gloss and I need a drink. Oh my god. <coughs> I was totally holding my breath doing that. Now this I love. Oh, don't worry. You'll see me do that. This will be, um, the whole live will be on my channel. So you'll see the whole thing. Oh, I got to touch up one little thing here on this corner. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, man. I'm totally holding my breath doing this. Mm. Okay, other than I need a little bit of this menagerie on this outer corner. And I think I'll be very happy with the lip color now. So I usually don't do these crazy ombre lips, but oh my god, I love this. <coughs> I wish I'd stop coughing.
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies have just gone totally crazy on me all of a sudden. I hate it when this happens. It's going to screw up my makeup. Puts my watery eyes. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm allergic to my makeup. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Oh, that's better. I think the air is just really dry. I had to put the heat on. Because it's so freaking cold here. It's ridiculous. I need... You know what? No, I'm going to leave it. I love this lip look. Love it. Kind of loving the whole thing. All right, guys. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Now I got to go do it for the gram. And uh, <clears throat> I need to clearly go do my inhaler and uh, take some allergy meds. Crazy hair. My hair is finally growing back. So this will be uploaded so you can watch the whole eye look and how I did this. And again... <clears throat> Sorry about me losing my voice. The Midas Cosmetics and Basic B Perception Palette and my new favorite things in the world, the Lethal Holographic Eye Topper thingies. I forget what they're called. But this blue color I used everywhere is called Deadlock, and that is my favorite. I mean, these are just meant to go together. And I did use the OMFG Cake Liner in Key Lime under my eyes to get them real bright before I did this. And with this blue, all I did, I'm going to actually touch it up a little bit because my eye watered. Let me dab this. And I will show you what I did is just boom, boom, boom with this in here. The cool thing about this stuff is you can just keep layering it on and it just gets like shinier and shinier. I just kind of want to put this everywhere. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Oh, uh, oh, that's what it needed. This might be my favorite lip color I've ever done. I'm not kidding. This is... I'm kind of obsessed with this lip color. Oh my god. I'm going to have to write it down. Because I'm going to be like, how did I do that? And I forgot. And I don't know what I did. I am going to go throw on this really crazy white, blue, and green mermaid wig that I have. And I'm going to take some pictures for Instagram. And so, yeah. Tomorrow... I don't know. Oh, it's over there. I'm not going to get up and get it. Tomorrow, about two-ish in the afternoon, I am doing Get Drunk With Me, New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, Volume 2. So the second volume is going up tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow in the middle of the day because I feel like it. And I feel like doing new nonsense makeup nonsense bingo again. It's going to be kind of cool. I want to... You know what? I will... Let's see if I can do this. I want to give you a little tiny bit of a preview of what's going to be able to happen. Is I have these cool little things that I can pop on screen here. Like that. Oh my god, where'd she go? So when we talk about these things, we're actually going to go through. These are, you're getting a sneak peek before everybody else tomorrow. So those are going to be things that are going to be a new makeup nonsense bingo tomorrow. Oh my God, I love this lip color. I don't want to wash it off. I don't want to wash any of this off. It just came out so cool. Look at it. I don't want to go. I don't want to wash it off. 
I'm just going to take a lot of pictures. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me on a boring Saturday night. To my besties, I wish I was there with you. Believe me. I would much rather be drinking tequila and sitting around a bonfire. Well, no, I can't say that. I'd rather be right here on my channel. But yeah, I'm kind of, I'm looking like my niece right now. God, that's not a bad thing. She's adorable. So yeah, so craziness with this. Thanks for going along for the ride. The full video of the eyes and how I did this and everything will be up. I did use a black eye base for the first time ever to get this effect. So come back when this is up and you can watch the whole thing and see how I did the eyes. Thanks again, everybody who joined in and I will see you uh, today. <laughs> it's 1217 now, so it's officially Sunday and I will be back at 220. Yeah, 220 is the live. I don't know why I picked 220. I thought it sounded funny. So yeah, 220 today in the afternoon, Sunday the 30th afternoon, I will be doing new makeup nonsense bingo. Like I said, with these little crazy little things here, uh, we need to talk about, oh, where is that thing? This is pretty cool. The Magic Mushroom Palette. We got Color Pop. Your oh, let's talk. These Wayne Goss brushes that I think are sold out. Seven brushes. The set is 225 doll hairs. $225 for these blush, uh, set of brushes. I mean, do you just lay there and they do the makeup on you by yourself? I mean, I don't get it. No. I mean, there's no way I would, I've spent, I spent a lot of money on my Sigma Robert Welsh set and I thought that was a lot, but I mean, $225 for seven brushes. No. Uh, if you like bougie brushes, there you go. I think they're probably sold out too. And then this, this is Valentino as in the clothing Valentino did, um, all this line of makeup and it's pretty basic it's like super big. I mean, the shade range is like sad. It's like, hey, either you're white or you're super dark. It's like, oh, thanks, Valentino. But see on the bottom, uh, the bottom what left, I think it's bottom left, uh, right or left, whatever. This thing with the chain. Okay, what that is, is it's a clutch. Okay, it's a Valentino clutch purse. And you can put a mini, see this mini lipstick that's up above it. Oh, it's, it's right at the top up there. But the thing with the chain, it's a mini clutch. It's this little tiny clutch and you can fit a bronzer or a blush in it. One of the mini bronzers or blushes and you can fit a mini lipstick. The clutch alone is $235. Are you kidding me? No. So $235 for the clutch. Now that's just the clutch. You have to buy the stuff to put in it separately. It doesn't even come with what you see in it with that V on it, with that powder. It doesn't come with that. No, 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 no. You have to buy all that separately. And I will tell you tomorrow how much all that stuff is. It's ridiculous. It's like high $500 for a little clutch that you bump it or drop it once and everything shatters. Um, then we have this Westman Atelier. These are actually lip colors. I know you probably thought it was blush or bronzer or something. No, these are lip colors. It's called Lip Suede Les Nudes Palette. $85 for this. We're going to talk about that too. $85. Mm, yeah, no. Natasha Denona. There's a Chanel quad. Okay, this Chanel quad I like because it has the little pressings. It's their 100 year anniversary of Chanel. So yeah, they have that little palette coming out with the little bottles in the number five. Uh, it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. That might fall into drunk me might buy it if it comes up tomorrow. Anyway, come back for new makeup bingo, new makeup nonsense bingo at 2.20 Sunday afternoon. This was fun just hanging out with you. I'm, I'm so in love with this lip color. Wait. Fish lips. I'm in love with this lip color. See, it started out with that stupid Venus flytrap. Didn't even need it. Sorry, Jeffrey. Wah, wah, fail. 
I went for my Menagerie again. By the way, that was Mako by Menagerie. I did mix it with the Jeffree Star, though. I'm surprised the world didn't implode mixing Jeffree Star with an independent makeup brand like Menagerie. It's, it's like mixing Coke and Pepsi. Anyway, I love this look. I'm going to go take some... Dropping all my stuff everywhere. I'm going to go clean up this mess because I have to record again tomorrow. And everything is falling and I'm tired and I'm out of beverages. I wish I was with my friends drinking tequila and sitting around the fire, but I had fun doing this. I hope you had fun watching it. Please like, please subscribe. I am, I got two days, two days to get up to 300 subs. I wanted to get to 300 in May. So come on now bonus way um 300 the 300 want to get tell your friends tell your family go subscribe people you don't know just borrow their phones and subscribe to my channel and be like yeah i'll tell you about it later and then they'll win something and be like what the hell did you sign me up for anyway um i love you guys i'll see you in the next one i hope you like my trollopy look jamie calls me a trollop and i don't care i love this He's just jealous because he ain't this pretty. He used to be, but he isn't no more. See you in the next one. See you in the morning. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.